Hi, welcome to this new SMOD video and today I'm going to introduce your new um, features uh, of uh, in SMOD 8.4 so right now I'm on a beta version and I'm a little bit sick that's why you may probably heard some nasty noises so well, one of the f uh, first features is the uh, embedded documentation you can see here in the help button and let's open a new uh, composition and now if I'm pressing the F1 button I can then select any part of the interface or element click on them and then you see uh, on the documentation panel a little explanation of any modifier composition or windows uh, in the elementary so one of the new main other feature let's do a new composition is a material bank so when I'm creating for instance a box NOSMOD will ask me if I want to create a material bank or not so I'm going to say no uh, at first and so you can see now that uh, on the difference of the previous version I have no renderer on my box because uh, as for a 2D layer like a gradient right now uh, my renderer is embedded to my 3D layer so on my 2D layers uh, you have here the parameter of the renderer which uh, allow to scale, rotate and change its position and if you uh, do a Control shift a to add uh, another renderer then uh, you can see appearing uh, the two renderer of my uh, 2D layers and right now on the 3D layer it's the same thing uh, by default uh, the 3D layer has an embedded uh, PBR surface renderer so I can change for instance its where is it uh, opacity here um, <coughs> and if I add a renderer on this box, Control Shift A, then now I have two PBR and uh, I have two um, different uh, renderer for my uh, same 3D element. And of course, I can add a uh, new renderer as uh, <coughs> as it uh, it was possible before. So the way the renderer works it's exactly the same thing as in 2d so you won't be lost and now for the material bank so let's create a new box and this time create a material bank yes and now i have my box and now it's renderer renderer it's a reference uh, which is defined here if i'm going to the box to the parameter editor i click on this little fellow here and then this will show me uh, inside my material box uh, the material addressed uh, to this box so let's call it box for instance and now if i'm creating a new 3d element all my 3d elements all the 3d elements i'm creating here have as a reference the box material you can see here so if I'm changing any parameter of this box material, uh, for instance, let's put uh, texture, standard pack, preset, no, texture, uh, where is it? Okay, let's put another texture as albedo texture. And now my texture, uh, my box material is updated for my two different uh, boxes so now if I'm creating a new material let's put a tick line for instance in my material bank uh, now if I'm selecting one of my box inside my renderer type which is still a reference I can change the material from box to tick line and so choose uh, either of these two materials and apply them to any one of my of my 3d element now if I want to add a material, uh, for instance, let's say I want to display my box and line uh, over my box, then I can sh still uh, make a Control shift a uh, over my box. And now I have two references. And now my second material here, I will choose as a reference uh, my box material. And now I have on this box two uh, reference material, the tick line and the box, uh, which are both defined in the material bank. And then material bank is more or less like a shared element. Uh, for instance, if you remember the shared element, if I do a right click shared element on my two point gradients here, then I have my shared element here 
and my instance, my reference here. And if I want to for my reference not to be a reference anymore, but to be an independent layer, I can make a right click import in the 2D layers. And I can do the same with the material renderer. So if I want this material, this box material to be only on my left box, for instance, and to be independent, not defined by the material bank, I do a right click, import material, and now these two uh, box material are uh, independent one from the other. So for instance, let's uh, change the texture here. And now you see I have my box uh, bricks here. I have my box bricks, which is from the material bank and uh, used here in box brick in this uh, second box. And I have uh, this other material, which is not defined in the material bank, but uh, specific to this uh, second box. So here is for the two main feature of SMOD uh, 4. There will be some further video uh, tutorials about uh, this, but uh, that's it for now. So have a nice day.